I'm going to be breaking down a few of Ken's best normal and special moves and modern controls to help you out if you're just starting. Everything here can be done in classic controls, but I'll always recommend modern to beginners because it helps simplify the character a bit. If you're confused by any of the concepts I bring up, be sure to check out my guide, The Absolute Basics of Street Fighter. One of Ken's primary pokes in modern controls is his down medium attack. It's quick, it has good range, it's a defining part of the Shoto archetype. Learn its range and use it plenty to stop your opponent from walking at you. If they decide walking isn't their thing and try to jump, snipe them out of the air with Ken's forward special, the Shoryuken. It's the quintessential anti-air for a reason and won't let you down. People in low ranks especially love to jump, so you're guaranteed to get plenty of mileage out of this move. When your opponent does manage to slip past your pokes and anti-airs, you can rely on Ken's stand light attack in close range situations. It's quick as can be and the range is great, so use it as well as throw to push your opponent away and maintain your distance for the iconic Shoto special move. Pressing neutral special lets Ken throw the famous Hadouken. Use this fireball a ton from range. Peppering the opponent with projectiles is going to be your favorite thing to do starting out with Ken. Because throwing fireballs make your opponent want to jump over them, and the forward special Shoryuken we talked about earlier is great at punishing people for jumping. Fireballs and uppercuts are core to the Shota game plan. There are some ranges where throwing a Hadouken isn't safe, because if your opponent jumps, you'll still be recovering from your fireball and unable to anti-air. There are a lot of moving parts in that interaction, so to simplify it, I'll just say, don't forget about your down medium attack. When you're in range for the down medium, it's a much safer idea to use that and then a fireball rather than throwing out Hadouken's raw. A great technique to learn is to press down medium and then quickly press special to cancel the kick into a fireball. If you watched my Ryu guide before this, you might realize that they're pretty much the exact same thing, and you'd be right. This all has to do with that word Shoto I've used a few times. You'll see them all over the place, not just in Street Fighter, but in every fighting game. These characters are all going to have a fireball, uppercut, and a crouch medium kick for you to use. The interesting thing is how they differ past this basic game plan. Ken has a ton of other things to learn as he turns into the much more aggressive Shoto when compared to Ryu, but you don't have to start off in the deep end. Keep it to the simple fireball and uppercut game plan, and whenever you feel comfortable, experiment with his other tools and add them to your game plan one by one. Go at your own pace, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below or follow me on Twitch and I can help you out there. If you found this helpful, leave a like so more people can find these guides, and subscribe so you don't miss more guides coming soon.